There's an interesting study that was done called the Minnesota Starvation Experiment. It was in 1944 by a man named Ansel Keys, the same guy who fudged the data on the heart study in 1958, which has led to the false information about cholesterol causing heart disease. Uh, that's the same guy who did this experiment. What Ansel Keys did in the heart study is he omitted data because he only gave you the data that aligned with his premise, okay? That cholesterol is bad and it clogs the arteries. He omitted a lot of other countries that showed no relationship between the cholesterol and heart disease. And that's just another classic example how certain researchers can manipulate data to look a certain way. Now with this experiment, uh, it involved over 36 men over a course of a year. In the first three months, they consumed 3,200 calories, okay? Then after that, they cut the calories down by half to about 1,560 calories for six months. And this is called a semi-starvation, okay? Now to me, that's not necessarily starvation because you could live on this if there are nutrient-dense foods. But they wanted to mimic the diet that was in the war previous to that. So they fed them potatoes, rutabagas, turnips, bread, and macaroni. Now I see right off the bat, there's not enough protein. There's definitely not enough essential fatty acids, and there's definitely not enough vitamins or minerals in this diet. And over six months, it's gonna create some serious nutritional deficiencies. It's not the starvation of the calories that I see is the problem, it's the starvation of the nutrients. Then after the six months, they put them on a restricted rehab period, and they beefed up the calories to 2,000 to 3,200, okay, where they fed them more protein, more vitamins, and so now they were feeling better. And then after that, they put them on an unrestricted rehab period for a short period of time, where they pretty much can eat whatever they want. But here's the outcome they were exhausted, irritable, bored, cold. This would be a thyroid problem, okay, because you're starving the nutrients. We've talked about that in other videos. Decreased libido, craving food like crazy. They even resorted to stealing food, okay? And as the icing on the cake, it destroyed their metabolism, okay? Their metabolism went way, way down. And this is very similar to some of the diets that are out there that people go on, which are low calorie diets. Um, when you're on a healthy keto plan and you're doing intermittent fasting, your energy goes up, okay? Especially if you're doing healthy keto. You're not gonna be irritable. Your, your mood's gonna come way up. And you're probably gonna find that your libido goes up. You're not gonna crave food. Your hunger goes away you're probably not gonna end up stealing food because you're not hungry, and your metabolism is going to be fine. So that is the benefit and the unique distinction between healthy keto and fasting versus a semi-starvation, typical low-calorie diet that a lot of people actually go on, which they don't really pay attention to the quality of food. So I put a link down below for the actual study but I wanna just point this out because many people that do fasting do not do healthy keto, okay? And they end up with problems and it's totally unnecessary. So what we can learn from this is the importance of nutrient-dense foods and all of the side effects that we can prevent. And also, if we're trying to do this with weight loss, the last thing we wanna do is destroy the metabolism. Thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.